guys welcome to another video my name is david pinto they also call me tips to dave and in today's video we are specifically going to be looking at your paid advertising and there's a lot of i mean i function with paid advertising with my affiliate marketing and everything that's going on in this channel so first and foremost if you're coming to this channel i want to welcome you this channel is all about affiliate marketing tips that help you pave the way for your dreams to come true so if you are interested in this hit that subscribe button and the bell notification and we're going to dive into the mindset of paid traffic because i do have a full time job guys i do work a nine to five and i do this on the side and this is a long-term mindset that i presume that you should have but if you don't then this video is going to be useful for you so it is part of my series of how to get to a thousand dollars per month so we're going to be going over that strategy as well in this video and much more so stay tuned i'm going to hop on my computer and share with you guys more awesome guys i'm here on my screen and let me go ahead and first and foremost share with you the exact strategy that i'm using to get to a thousand dollars per month with affiliate marketing now this is just a documentation series that i'm doing that's also going to be useful as a training for you as you go along with your affiliate marketing journey so a little bit of a backstory before i get into it like i said i have been doing affiliate marketing for some time right now but i scrapped everything i took out everything and decided to you know start from scratch in march this year and follow just these two steps which is the steps that i'm taking in order for me to get to one thousand dollars per month now i the reason why i'm doing that is firstly i wanted to document and show you guys that it is possible then if you're in the same situation like me who has a nine to five job who doesn't have a lot of time to do for, let's say free marketing and social media marketing and so on and so forth which we're going to be talking about in this video by the way all of that combined, if you don't have the time, I would like to give you a simple step-by-step -step formula. So this is literally two steps in the entire process that we're following. First step is a cash flow generating step. So one of the things that with affiliate marketing, when you're using paid traffic, because I want to use paid traffic, right? That's the whole purpose because I want to leverage paid traffic instead of me spending time in, you, in, in actually advertising. Because one of the skill sets that you need with affiliate marketing is advertising. The second skill set, in my opinion, is copywriting or email marketing in this case, or sales funnel writing and so on and so forth, right? So that's the second skill set. But we're not going to focus on that in this video. Specifically, I'm going to talk to you about traffic because paid traffic is the key element and I'm using paid traffic. I'm not not using free traffic so all of this is just documented with paid traffic that i'm doing now i'm buying about 200 clicks at least every week so there's minimum 600 six to 800 clicks per month going to my offers at the moment going to my funnel at the moment but that will increase over time this is why if you think about it when you have a budget it's going to be you have to be in the right frame of mind to know whether this paid advertising works otherwise why would i be doing it right so this is something that i am showing you and for the people who don't have the cash flow who don't have the budget i have step one specifically there, and i'm following step one as well because it is a cash flow generating step what this is mean is that it generates you at least 300 to 500 dollars per month just that first step in order for you to be able to invest that funds or those profits that you're getting those commissions that you're getting into traffic in the whole sales process as you can see on screen right there so it's that simple this whole method takes about half an hour a day maximum both step one and step two if you're doing this it doesn't take a lot of time but it does take consistency now obviously because i'm saying it does take consistency this video is important but if you really want to know detail on step one and step two i would suggest watch the playlist in the description because that's where everything is going to be shared with you guys and it's step by step besides the playlist i'm also going to leave a link to get onto my email list which will basically take you to this page right here and obviously, if you want to see the strategy and on my email list, I share with you all of these things, including resources, traffic resources, including everything that I'm doing, including the support that you want to get. So getting onto my email list and also getting the offer if you want it, obviously, is very important. So this is going to take you through the entire process. I'm going to communicate with you more and so on and so forth. So that link is going to be in the description of this video. And all the resources that you see basically in this video are going to be in the description feel free to get into my Facebook group so I can support you the most. So let's go ahead. As you can see, step one is cash flow generation. I'm not building my asset, my email list and so on, but I'm using those profits in the cash flow by traffic every single week. Now, let me go ahead and share with you one of the major mistakes that people do with buying traffic is that they expect to spend money 
and get a return on their investment or a return on their traffic, their purchase immediately. This is the first thing that they make in their mistake. Now you can get that immediately. Don't get me wrong. It's not like you're not, you can't get it and you should be aiming for it. If you have the wrong product, if you have the wrong kind of funnel, if you have the wrong mindset behind this, you are going to make mistakes. And then if you are making mistakes, basically you are wasting your money. So you're spending money and you're not getting the full advantage of your money. So I'm going to share with you what's the difference behind the mindset behind it and why I'm saying paid traffic generation or paid advertising is important to understand this for the long term. Any of this strategy, I suggest whether it's paid advertising or free advertising, I expect and I'm telling you that at least you should commit to it for one year for 12 months, guys. If you're not doing it for 12 months, do not come back to this video or do not come back to this series and say that, you know, it's not working because why am I saying 12 months? Within 12 months, you have enough data. If you start with a small budget, you have enough data. If you do not have a small budget and you start off with a lot of money in the beginning, then you don't need this strategy. You can go about and do it in a different way or you can use this funnel as well and you will actually reap the rewards immediately because you're investing into yourself. You're adding a budget, you have a higher budget and so on. This is for people starting at the lower budget. You need to have the patience with your traffic and i'm going, going to explain to you why and one of the major mistakes that people do is that they send and most let's say gurus or most people who are teaching affiliate marketing will always say this they will give you a funnel and they'll say all you need to do is send traffic to the funnel all you need to do is buy traffic to the funnel and that's all you need to do and then you're gonna blah 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 i'm not i'm taking away that hype guys i'm taking away that hype yes i'm buying traffic to a funnel don't get me wrong but that's i know I have already set, I've set it up to, to make sure that I am getting the most money, most results for my buck. So most results in terms of what I'm spending first and foremost, but I'm also sending traffic to the right offers and I'm not sending traffic to the wrong offers. So don't get me wrong. It is very much a easier strategy to buy traffic because you're leveraging uh, the traffic. You're leveraging somebody else's list. You're leveraging uh, Google paper ads. You're leveraging all these things to be able to generate leads instantly that's the whole purpose behind it but you need to also know your audience you need to do all that obviously i've done done it for you within the funnel itself if you do decide to get the funnel but if not and you're building it know the right offer so i'm going to go through it and this whiteboard i basically done right here let me actually just zoom out a bit yeah so let's zoom a little bit in and move myself yeah perfect so let's just keep it like this so you have two ways of generating traffic. The whole purpose of your traffic is to shift them from cold traffic to warm traffic. Now, the way you can do it from cold traffic to warm traffic is simply by building a relationship with those leads. Now, this is going to take effort. And just your email list alone is not going to do it, guys. Just your email list alone is going to do a minor portion of it. So expect lower results if you do not involve YouTube videos, if you don't involve your free, your relationship building activities in your email list. So if you involve your Facebook group, for example, if you involve your TikTok or your YouTube videos, etc., in your marketing on your email list, then basically you're shifting that traffic. You're shifting, you're making the person get to know you uh, and much more through these methods because they're following you now on Facebook and so on and so forth. And this helps with building the warmth of the traffic. And there's a difference. So with cold traffic, I would consider cold traffic is purely paid traffic. Anything that you're advertising is cold. Okay, it means that you need to have at least seven to 12. And this is an old a statistic. I think it's much more right now. Seven to 12 touch points before a person even considers about buying your offer. So sending them through the whole process, they're not going to have seven times. The person is coming here to landing page, entering the email address, and they just get once. The email address, then emails go through the whole funnel. And that's why collecting the email address is so important. But it's always paid traffic. Now, what I want to get to, I'm not going to get you into the mindset of these traffic. I'm just going to say paid traffic. Usually, if you're doing any kind of solo ads, any kind of Bing ads, Google ads, whatever advertising you're doing. And I have the sources, guys, in the description of this video that are going to be the high quality sources that I use. But also, if you, as I said, get on my email list, I'm going to share with you much more there. Now, this whole strategy, why am I saying 12 months is because 
you're spending money. So you are spending at least per week, let's say you're spending $50 a week or you're spending $100 a week, whatever your budget is, right? Spending $100 a week for traffic. This means that it doesn't always mean that you're going to get a result immediately. Firstly, secondly, you should never, and this please, I'm telling you this right on the get go, do not send solo ads to high ticket offers. Do not send Google paper ads to high ticket offers. I know that you see it out there quite a bit, but the reason why I'm saying this is most of the time you're going to waste money you have to see what the product is if it's something that is teaching if it's something that is asking for a high investment up front this is going to be better i'm not saying these products are bad i'm just saying these are better products for a warmer audience these are better products for the end of your email series these are better products in at in the back end not on the front end but on the back end first and foremost so if you're sending them on the front end expecting to get results that's going to be difficult for you that's all i'm that's all i'm going to say instead i would use a low ticket offer or mid-range offer at least on the front end so you get the most value of your money so for example if you make a 20 dollars sale if you make a 30 dollars sale if you make a 40 dollars sale and you're spending 100 dollars, you're making half of that on one sale so two sales and three sales you're already in profit so the focus is to get to those uh, conversions of three sales per per traffic order so that's why i'm saying use mid-ticket offers and that's obviously the sales side the other side is that you're not going to make sales on each and every traffic order that you send Please do not understand this. I have currently two traffic orders going on and I made one sale from those traffic orders so far. It's still going on, but I made one sale so far. And that's okay. Why? Because from that traffic order, I still have about 20, actually 30% conversion rate. So I have at least 30% of the leads that are coming onto my email list. And this conversion rate for me to them, for me to get the asset of getting them onto my email list is what is the purpose of me buying traffic? Because now I can have one, two, and I have 38 days of follow-up where people go through the whole step-by-step process and if they can decide at any stage what offers they want and what they don't want and how they want to continue. And if they don't like it, they can say bye-bye and go away from my list. That's absolutely fine. That's more than I'm more than happy with it. That's not a problem. But it means when you're spending on traffic, the mindset is this. Okay, let me just do it this way. The mindset is this. Let's put this arrow as your break-even point, right? When you start with traffic buying, usually you're just building your list. So your list is starting to build. So one month, you're down. Second month, you're down. Third month, you're down. Fourth month, now suddenly you start to make a couple of sales. So you're slightly up. Then you're still below your break even. Fifth month, again, you go a little bit higher below your, above your, um, let's say, break even. And then sixth month, you go clo- a little closer to your line. Now, I'm not saying it has to be six months. It could be seventh month, you go back down. Okay. And then eighth month, you suddenly exponentially grow. What this basically means is that as you're testing different sources, when you find, sometimes you have to test different sources to know it. So you're still buying traffic every week and stuff like that. But when you get one uh, or traffic order that works and you see that it works, then you continue to order from that same person or you continue order every single week from that one that's working because look at the growth that I've got suddenly. And now I'm going to continuously buying and this keeps me above and I do not mind reinvesting into the business and, and continuing to bring that source. So this is what is important, that you see the growth, but you may not see it immediately. The mindset is not to make the money now, but the reward that you're doing it with consistency, that reward comes to you. So the sales start to come every day instead of, you know, once a month and then or every week and then every day and then twice a day and thrice a day. And this continues and continues and you can scale it up quite a bit. Once they, these people are there and they get to know you, then on the back end, you can have high ticket offers, which just basically makes sense for you. So you invest a section of that to keep that machine rolling. So this is very important for you guys to understand because I go to it and a lot of affiliate marketers, unfortunately, when it comes to paid advertising, they quit before they even spend $1,000. They quit before they even spend $1,500. And they are, they will say, oh, the traffic doesn't work. Well, you haven't tested the traffic enough. If you go out and actually have Google paid ads or Bing ads, you will be spending, in my opinion, at least $5,000 before you understand the traffic. It's just that that's it. Then obviously, once you've understand, you optimize it and it's scalable to another degree. But you're spending. That's why it sometimes takes a lot. This first step on cash flow is super important in my journey because it's keeping that momentum. I'm, I can, I'm getting money, I'm getting profits, I'm getting commissions, and I'm using that to 
by traffic and buy, find the best source for me so that it then you know escalates to what i need to do and i'm going to be doing this as i said for the next 12 months at least do it for 12 months before you make that final decision whether it works or doesn't work why because you need the data to collect it. If you're buying 100, let's say 100 uh, clicks every single week for 12 months, that's 36,000 clicks. Sorry, that's 53,000 clicks. Not, or 56, whatever, how many weeks you're buying, let's say for 12 months, right? So it's 50, it's a 50,000 plus clicks. You can easily, you can easily understand from those clicks then what is the best option for you and whether it's actually working. So continue for the, that 12 months. And sorry if I'm bad at my math and I made some mistakes with whatever amount of weeks and amounts and everything like that. It doesn't really matter. The point I'm trying to get you in the mindset of what to do. So I, for example, started with this step one and I did it for a couple of months before going to step two. And now step two, I've just started with the step two last month. And it's just been a small amount. I've spent about $1,000 so far on my traffic. And I know I'm going to be spending much more but I'm not spending money from my pocket. This strategy, this method, this way that I'm teaching you guys, which is in this series, is a way to first generate cash flow and then have the right mindset because we're going to be doing it for 12 months. Are you ready to do it for that long? That's up to you. So I wanted to get, I know this is a little more hardcore in the in, in information. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, you like the transparency, you like the no hype, from my side then let me know in the comments as well hit that thumbs up button if you like the video and i'm going to see you guys on the next one so don't forget to subscribe and let me know if you do like this video have a great day keep doing the way for dreams to come too i'm going to see you on the next video